everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a quick little Valentine card for you today featuring the Love Cats. I'm going to show you how to make that cat look like he's laying there on that cute little ribbon strip. Um, these cats are just the cutest and I'm going to use my Stamparatus to stamp him so that we can get a good solid image. All right, I've got my cat on my Stamparatus plate and the reason I'm using my Stamparatus is so that I can stamp him a couple of times. If I don't get a good solid image the first time I stamp, I can re-ink and lay it back down. Now we're going to stamp him on basic white and then we're gonna use a circle to cut out this top part and our scissors to cut out the bottom part. So I'm just gonna get a quarter sheet of cardstock. I'm gonna place it right here. Let's make sure he's centered. I wanna use some post-it tape to mask off those little hearts right there that way we don't stamp them all right so ink it up i am using stays on black here stays on is a really good solid black and we're going to lay it down let's see how we did all right i think i'm going to stamp him again just to get him nice and solid black so lay your tape back down Ink them up again. Get that tape out of here so we don't get it on the paper where we don't want it. And let's see how he looks. Ah, very nice. Now, we're gonna take our stitched circle die and we're gonna cut out just the top. See over here how his tail would be cut off? Well, we're just gonna lay our plate here so that it just cuts this top part. All right, before we bring that cut and emboss machine over, let's get our other piece. We're going to emboss this piece on the bottom with brick and mortar. Um, we just want to do the bottom half under the designer series paper. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere my DSP so that I know exactly where I want to emboss. The other thing you need to do before you emboss is to stamp the sentiment. All right, hey there, Valentine. And I think I'm gonna stamp this over on some scratch paper. Let's see, do I have scratch paper? I don't, so we're gonna go for it. I like to, to stamp on scratch paper to make sure I can get it straight. This would be another good time to use your Stamparatus. But it turned out pretty good, didn't it? <laughs> okay, let's bring over the cut and emboss machine. I've got several plates here. We're gonna, let's do our embossing first. That's the easiest, so we'll get plate one and you're gonna get your brick and mortar embossing folder, and you're just gonna stick your paper in up to that designer series paper like that. And then all you need is plate number four. Okay. And then you've got the bottom half embossed right over your sentiment. All right, now the cat. We're going to cut the cat a little bit differently than normal. So let's put our plates back. We've got one and two, and then we've got one of our clear plates. We just want to cut the top part of the cat it, from the circle, okay? So I'm going to lay my die there like that, and I want it to stop right where that line is. So kind of center your circle. See, if we cut out this part the tail would be cut off. So we don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna push it up towards the top of my paper, get that centered, make sure his paw doesn't get cut off. And we're gonna put the second plate carefully. Actually, we gotta turn it around, don't we? Turn it around. You want the plate to cover the part that you want cut, all right? So I've stopped it right there on that line and it's just gonna cut that part of the circle out. The rest, we're gonna cut with our scissors. All right, let's see. All right, perfect. Now, get your paper snips. You wanna use some small scissors, I recommend our paper snips. And we're gonna cut right here on this line. And you know, I'm gonna cut off all this extra cardstock just to make it easier. Because when you have a bunch of bulky cardstock, it makes it a little bit tricky to cut. All right, boop, right there. All right, now I'm gonna carefully cut around the edge of the cat. These cats and the stamp set are so funny. They're doing totally cat things, laying in weird places, laying in weird ways. They are very cute and funny, and I think that 
they represent cats really well with these images. I don't have a cat. I have before. But I do like watching cat videos, so I know that they are super silly. Who doesn't like watching cat videos, right? They never cease to make me laugh. All right, so now just carefully go around his tail. I'm trying to just stay right on the outside of that black line edge. Okay, and then, boop, and there we have him. See, he's gonna lay like that. Okay, I think we're ready to put our card together. Now, my original card has some ribbon on it. It is the burlap uh, ribbon um, from the ribbon combo pack that's out of stock and I don't have any more of it. So I decided I'm gonna substitute this beautiful gold ribbon. I've got a sweet sorbet mat for my cardstock. There's a free PDF on my blog today with the measurements and supply list. You can hop over there and get it. And I'm gonna take the ribbon. Let's move that over here. And tie just a little, like a knot, not a bulky uh, bow, but just a knot. Okay, and then cut these at an angle. And then you just wanna kinda get them situated. Looks like that one's a little bit longer, so let's cut that down. I don't have my ribbon scissors. There we go. All right now we're going to take our cat and let's use dimensionals so he can hang over that ribbon. And we're going to put that right there. So he is laying right over the ribbon on the edge. Isn't he just so stinking cute? Okay, now I've got some of our pearl hearts and I'm going to take my sweet sorbet um, stamp and blend and color three of them. This is alcohol marker so it will dry pretty quickly. Okay, and then I will take my take your pick tool. Let's see if I can get them. They're not dry yet, but we'll go ahead and put them on here. There's another one, and one more right there. And then last but not least, we're gonna put that on a crumb cake card base. And that's a really quick and simple Valentine card for you. I know Valentine is next week. I need to make my own husband his Valentine card, and maybe I'll just use this since I've got it done. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this project. Let me know if you have any questions. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop over to my blog and grab that free PDF. There's two other Love Cat projects over there as well. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.